when replacing your engine coolant sensor, it is not necessary to drain the coolant. Some coolant will drain out, but work quickly and have a pan to catch the small amount that does. Make sure your engine is cool when doing this job, otherwise the coolant that will come out can scald you. Working at the front of the engine, disconnect the coolant sensor electrical connector. Press the wire retainer, indicated by the green arrow, then pull the connector straight off the sensor. Using a 22 millimeter wrench, loosen the sensor. Just break the sensor free, then unscrew it by hand. Be sure the sensor seal comes off with the sensor. Green arrow. You will have to replace this part, and you don't want to double them up by accident. Install the new sensor with a new seal and tighten. Connect the electrical connector and double check that the wiring is in the same place as it was before. Top up and bleed the cooling system. Please see our article on changing coolant and bleeding your system provided by the link at the end of this video. Next, working at the front of the engine, disconnect the oil pressure sensor switch electrical connector. Press the wire retainer, green arrow, then pull the connector straight off the sensor switch. Using a 24 millimeter wrench or socket, loosen the sensor. Just break the sensor free, then you can unscrew it by hand. As you remove the switch sensor, a small amount of engine oil may leak out. I like to place a rag, green arrow, beneath the sensor to absorb it. This will minimize the oil spill down the side of your engine. Be sure the sensor switch seal comes off with the sensor switch, as indicated by the green arrow. You will have to replace this part, and you don't want to double them up by accident. Install a new sensor switch with a new seal and tighten. Connect the electrical connector and double check that the wiring is in the same place as it was before. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.